This right here, this footage you see right here, is EA Sports NHL 13. Now, let me tell you about this demo. I like it. I'm not really a hockey fan. I'm what you would call a casual fan. The only time I really take a look at hockey is when uh, my Chicago Blackhawks make the playoffs. Like last year, I watched it. Watched every game. Um, don't ask me about the rules and all that stuff because I'm not really a hockey fan. But um, for the most part, uh, you know, I get the gist of the game. But um, in... The last time I played any NHL game probably was 11, I believe. Uh, my friend let me borrow it for a couple months, and I played it, liked it. Got the Stanley Cup, won, gave it back to him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really, um, gameplay-wise, I mean, it looks real. <laughs> it looks like something you would see on TV uh, with the uh, way to play escape. Um, the interactions between um, the players, the collisions, um, the stop and go stuff, the gliding, the goalie interactions with, where they uh, blocking shots and stuff like that. I mean, really, some of these goalie, goalie saves look like stuff that you would see, you know, Martin Brodeur would do or something like that. Um, I know who he is. I know some some of these players. I don't know all of them. You know, if you watch ESPN enough, you'll get to know some of these um, other sports players' names, especially the sports you don't really watch. Uh, like that, right there. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. That looked kind of weird. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but for the most part, you know, the gameplay look, is looking nice. I mean, there's some issues. There's occasional, you know, weird um, body collision or, you know, the stick goes through players and the stick goes through other players' sticks and the puck seems to stick to the sticks, stuff like that. But, you know, I heard that you can change some of the stuff, with the, especially with the uh, puck sticking to the stick, you know, when you're passing and all that stuff. Um, through the sliders, which is which was which would be nice, um, which was doing default, you know, especially if you put it on um, the hardcore setting, um, that you know the puck should you know glance if you like so closely you shoot the um not shoot the puck, but pass the puck super hard to your teammate, it shouldn't just stick to the player's stick. But um, anyway, I digress from that. Um, will I get this game? I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm not a hockey fan. I may pick it up again. I got, like I said, I got a couple friends. They like hockey hardcore. And um, every once in a while, a game will come out. Like I know, for example, when uh, Call of Duty come out, they that's all they playing. It's Call of Duty. They'll play all the sports games until Call of Duty come out, and then that's about it. Uh, so if they pick this up and they want to, um, you know, let a brother uh, <laughs> uh, pick this up off them for 30 bucks. Hey, I'm here. Hey, $30. But um, for the most part, I'm not gonna buy this day one. Like um, Madden, yeah. Feels NBA 2K, yeah. Even um, MLB the Show, yeah. I picked it up day one. I like those games. I'm used to them games. I'm used to them sports. Um, but other than that, you know, it is what it is. So at this point, you can turn the video off, or you can uh, continue watching this video because I'm about to say some other stuff too. All right. Here we go. Let me skip into my hockey background. My hockey background, like I said, is a casual gamer. I'm mean, not casual, but casual uh, hockey fan. As I said before, Blackhawks is my team. Hate the Red Wings with a passion. <laughs> Don't know why. I just know that you hate the Red Wings because they are uh, the Blackhawks' main rival. Just like I hate the Packers, but I know about them a lot more than I do about the Red Wings. Um, growing up, basically... Uh, you didn't see the Blackhawks on television. I mean, it just it just was unheard of unless they made the playoffs because I think the owner, um, I'm, I don't even go say the name because I know I'm gonna say it wrong. So I'm thinking it was the White Sox owner, but basically the um, obviously Bill Vec, but that that was the former White Sox owner, I believe. Um, what could be wrong? It don't matter. But anyway, um, <clears throat> basically. He believed that if you show the games on TV that the um, fans would not come out to the games. Of course, you know, that ain't, that wouldn't have happened. Of course, you know, there would be some people who can't afford the games, afford the tickets. Of course, they ain't not going to come to the games. But everybody else, you know, if they fans of the team, they would want to see them. And because I didn't see um, the Black Sox on TV, I didn't know much about them until they went to the Stanley Cup in 92. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's really when I um, got a little bit interested in them. But then after that, after they went to the Stanley Cup, I didn't see my TV no more. <laughs> but you know who I did see on TV? Oh, Andre Dawson, Ryan Sandberg's Cubs. You know, Frank Thomas's White Sox. You know, Ozzie Gideon was on that team too. <laughs> oh, Michael Jordan's Bulls. And uh, Dave Juan says Bears. That was the suckiest freaking, what, three, four, five years of my life with the Bears. But I still watch every one of them crap tackler games. Uh, but anyway, you know, <clears throat> if I seen it, and the more I got to watch it, you know, the more I got interested in it. But because, like I said, hockey wasn't on, I couldn't get interested because I couldn't see it. So um, that's basically the whole gist of my hockey experience. Um, and that's about it, really. I mean, I've been to White Sox games, been to Bulls games. I haven't been to a Bears game yet, which is surprising to me. And I haven't been to the Cubs. Uh, I haven't been to Wrigley Field. I've seen the Cubs play, but I haven't been to Wrigley Field to see them play. I've seen them, uh, the Cubs play in Cincinnati. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's about it. So uh, if y'all want to turn this video off again, I could do it now or continue watching the end of this video play out. This is uh, Evan Cello, and uh, I guess that's it. Peace. That's what happened here. Out of the zone. See if he can lug this out to Martinez. New Jersey's penalty has ended. Getting over the boards, back on the ice. Teams are back at even strength. Green, nice breakup. Pushing it along the wall. Has control. From down low. Quick shot. Save made. <laughs> Martinez. And there's the final horn, and this thing is over. Well, we're not going to get a uh, winner or loser in this, as this one will go down tied. Well, I'll tell you what. To look that good during regulation and then not be able to get it done, that is disappointing because these guys were clearly the better team for 60 minutes. Here's an opportunity to look at some of the plays that made a difference in this game. I'm Gary Thornton along with Bill Clement. Thank you for joining us, everybody. On behalf of EA Sports, we bid you adieu.